Hey there everybody, it's Peter from Indigo River Tiny Homes. We're here to show you our latest and greatest creation. Today we've got a 36 foot by 10 foot wide Homesteader Deluxe model, plus a two foot bump out on the end, making a total length 38 feet. Uh, gives you some extra interior space. And with the Deluxe model, we've got the additional storage shed on the rear, plus our traditional standard storage shed on the front. Uh, this one also has an outdoor water spigot and our standard board and batten siding with a custom paint job here. And then I think that's mostly what we got on the outside. Oh yeah, we've got a modern door uh, plus a really cool porch light there. Ready to go inside? And the doggy door. And the doggy door, that's right. A little bit humid. Things are sticky around here. Okay, sorry we don't have our microphones. We're gonna try to talk loud. All right. All right, so lots of space in the homesteader, 10 foot wide. And Peter's gonna tell us about the kitchen. All right, let's take a look at the kitchen. So this is our this is our pretty standard kitchen. Um, it's, we've got the stainless steel sink, very deep with the accessories. Uh, the accessories are stored underneath right now, but it has the lip where you can put the drying rack and the cutting board. And I think there's one other a basket or something that you can sit in there. Uh, plus the you know, cool pull down faucet. Oh, a really cool pendant light over the over the sink. It's got one of those little uh it's a dandelion puff inside there. Yeah. Isn't that pretty? Really and pretty. then does this one open on the Oh yeah, it's got That's the little cool. sponge trays in there. Soft clothes too, everything soft clothes. And then got the floating shelves. These are made with out of solid hardwood. This uh we did looks like oak in this house. And then uh we got the cool Overhead vent, the black one, over the two burner cooktop, which is standard. And then the oven, which is an upgrade. It's an electric oven. Our apartment fridge, 10 cubic foot with a drawer underneath that gets it up off the ground, a little easier to get into the refrigerator there, extra storage underneath. And then uh, this one has an upgraded pull out pantry here two sections and then took it drawers up under there yeah you want to see those sure you just pop out like that and pop it back in and then more storage over here sometimes people use this for kitchen storage yeah when it's across from the kitchen yeah this one has the um, standard setup with the with the shelves and cabinets and the two drawers and then you can also upgrade this to have pull-out pantries on this side. So we've done one, two, three, four pull-out pantries on this side instead of this configuration. Or maybe just more drawers or whatever. It, yeah, it's whatever customizable. You need. Mm -hmm. And then our so, shoe cubbies. So there's the inside of the doggy door. And let's look at the bathroom first. All right. Or before we go upstairs. Drum roll, please. Oh. It's gonna be bright yellow. <laughs> Get ready. Surprise. So she was thinking about doing a dark color in here, and then we recommended, you know, something not so dark, just so it would be brighter, and she went a lot brighter. The homeowner did, so this is her yellow with the black. Okay. Which I think looks good. It's yeah, the gold. Um, Handles look good. Yeah, the, she chose a really cool black vanity with black top. Right, let's see. Let's and black and gold faucet. Pattern there. And then these shelves turn toward the sink. Yeah, this is a unique shelf design that we did here where the shelves face this way for you know storing your toiletries and then we got deeper shelves here going that way for these go all and the way back. And then lots of storage over here for the... Well, let's do the shower first. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this is our Dr. Who shower that 
so many people know it's very popular. Uh, it's really great because it opens from the center. When you've got your toilet on one side, the vanity on the other side, then it opens from the corner, which is really super great in a tiny house. And this is not real tile. It's a one piece. Uh, yeah, it's a faux tile. Faux mm -hmm. tile. And that's actually one of our standard uh, uh, surrounds. And, and then the, the uh, rain shower head. And then it's also adjustable. a removable. Yeah, and then also a removable shower head as well. Handheld. Handheld. That's called handheld. All right, so I'm going to show you that you can sit on this toilet and not hit your head. See? You want to sit? I'll show them. We haven't gotten as many comments about that lately, but maybe yeah. it's because you showed it on another. I think most of the videos I've been doing this now, uh, because we got so many comments about people worried about hitting their head on the the fact that our open house somebody sits did they <laughs> yeah. did they sit down they didn't sit down though oh. they were just kind of looking <laughs> uh, yeah we've got the extra linen cabinet here that's up that's an also, upgrade also an option and then the laundry cove so yeah the laundry alcove here this one gives you options yeah so she wanted the option of either having an all-in-one or side-by-side -side washer and dryer and so she she got the uh, dryer outlet and vent um, in addition to the, you know, just the, the combination connections. So if she doesn't like the combo, she can get a side by side. Okay. Where do you want to go to next? Let's go to the master bedroom. All right. The deluxe loft, as they say in Texas, <laughs> or Alabama, or wherever. Oh, Oklahoma. That's where Peter got it. Okay, so um, the Deluxe Loft has two wardrobes instead of just one with the standard stand-up loft. And then a window. Usually people want um, their extra space to have a little window, maybe a window seat. But she has furniture that's going to go here. It's going to be a desk here under this fan. So I'm going to show the fan first. Yeah, she's picked out a really cool And then you can see the there's lots of floor space and then here it's a queen size bed and, and these are a, a, a bit tall so we do put a, a step here to make it easier to get in and out of bed and, and a step on this end as well and this is an FAQ why do the bed platforms have to be so high because it's the ceiling of the bathroom. Right underneath there. <laughs> People always ask, can you put storage underneath that bed? No. Nope. Well, no, not really, because it's the ceiling of the bathroom. So that's how that works. There's um, your private storage up here and then public storage on the other side. Yeah, so up, up to the bed height, we've got, it we've got the shelving open on this side for your knickknacks and things. And then... There's the other side. Our cat walk up there, which a lot of people love for their cats. There's a plug, so you put your Wi-Fi or your something out up there if you want to put a router. Or... You want to check out this fan, the ceiling fan? Oh yeah, cool. let's, um, it's huge. That's not just the wide angle. Yeah, this that's it goes all, almost all the way across. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's a 62 inch fan. There. And we've got a nice size dining area here. As we have it set up, there's even a little little uh, seating area here. What would you call a little area like this? Yeah, seating area. <laughs> In your, your waiting room. <laughs> so, but there's room like this table pulls out, you know, to seat more people, and there's lots of space to do that. And then we've got this living room set up with the TV and a little alcove here and a, and a love seat. But this, but the homeowner is actually, I think, going to put a sofa this way with the TV over here. Uh, and then this the is way. going to be a little cove for her granddaughter to have all her toys and mm -hmm. a little spot. Yeah, because you can easily fit a full size sofa in here. Oh yeah, and between not even approach on the dining area. Correct. All right, back stairs. This back is stairs. an upgrade to the. Regular homesteader, usually the homesteader crawl and loft has a um, ladder or yes. 
you know, some other more simple stairs. So this, if you want to be able to walk, we've got storage. How oh, you want to lift that up? Yep, yeah, this is a really neat storage feature. And then that's a no, that's a full, that's not a triangular drawer, is it? It's no, it's a, a full, yeah, because it goes underneath. Yeah, full nice. drawer. That's a big drawer. All right. So the tread's still comfortable. And then over there in the other loft, it was 6'4 head clearance, but here it's maybe 6'2, six 6'1, six because we're on the low side of the of the um, roof. You know, the roof slopes down this way and it's higher on this side. So it might look a little bit crooked, but it's just because that roof is sloping. <laughs> so yeah. you, this is a twin mattress. You can put a king up here. And then there's just a little bit of floor space or a queen or a double, whatever you want to do. Plenty of space. Two twins. Yep. You got two kiddos. All right. And then full wardrobe up there at the top of the stairs. So it's the crawling loft or the stand up landing is what we call it. All right. Did we do everything? I think so. If we missed anything, if you saw something that we didn't talk about, hit us up in the comments. <laughs> so we'll put a link to the pricing at the end of the video. It will also be in the description. And is that it? Be, heard it. be sure to hit like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Ding, ding, ding. Whenever we put out a new video, you'll get notified. And see another one of our awesome tiny homes. All right, we hope you love it because we love you. Thanks for watching. Bye, y'all.